I think the point that was just made about a divided government is a very good one. We have a lot of history on this. Um, in the mid-1990s and in uh, the Clinton's second term, we had a Republican House and a Democratic uh, White House, and markets performed very well. Similarly, in the final six years or final four years of the Obama administration, again, a Democratic president, a Republican Congress, um, public equity markets in the United States performed uh, quite well. So, um, um, you know, a divided government seems to be favored by the public equity markets, although I think a divided government coming out of a, a Biden victory in, in a month is unlikely. Hmm. Um, David, Dan here with a question. With regards to what these candidates are going to be focusing on over the next 30 odd days, you could perhaps contend that the president is now going to make the coronavirus a central theme of this campaign, perhaps more so than he has in the past. He can now claim that he knows more about the virus than Joe Biden having survived it. Do you think that that's going to be a central issue? And what else will these candidates be focusing on over the next few weeks? Yeah, well, I certainly think um, for the American people, the virus is the single issue uh, with all others being diminished. And uh, the president's um, unfortunate illness probably only elevates the virus as uh, the de decisive issue in the campaign. I'm not sure President Trump wants to be talking about the coronavirus. Uh, he has been, I think, criticized um, uniformly, and the polls show the American people are quite unhappy with the Trump administration's handling of uh, the virus. The President of the United States would probably rather talk about the United States Supreme Court and his recent nominee. Uh, he would um, probably want to talk about social unrest, um, where he, he lays the blame at the feet of what he describes as radical leftists in the United States. Um, but Dan, your point is a good one. Um, I think the campaign is likely to focus um, very strongly on the coronavirus. For uh, businesses uh, in East Asia, U.S.-China relations will um, receive some attention, but probably not as much as President Trump would have liked uh, to give to that um, issue. I think the president is very happy with the way he has prosecuted American grievances against China and believes the American people are with him on that. We'll see if he's able to re-elevate uh, U.S.-China tensions to a, a primary campaign issue.